All right, all right, all right. It's Libra. God damn it, what it be, bruh? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to let every last one of my babies, my Libra gang, 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 know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of May 2020. Show me the money energy. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of you guys who have clicked this video to come and chill with moi okay shout out to you okay i hope everyone has been enjoying their time during their lockdown i hope everyone has been enjoying rest and relaxation bonding time with their kids and just you know allowing things to take their course right now we ain't being in too much worry because they don't know our story we done been through much worse so listen we done been through a lockdown before okay so listen we done been through having a struggle before so we ain't worried okay god got us okay so listen shout out to all my babies i already know that y'all are blessed and prayed up and looking fabulous okay because especially my libra gang gang i know that they in there doing all their little pedicures doing their little facial um detox treatments and regimens and stuff they in there making and reembordering stuff and like y'all are in there being creative so i already know what it is okay so listen find us a way to make money and, and just all of that so listen if there's anyone who would like to book a personal and private reading with me only thing you need to do is click that about tab it has all my pricing list on there and you connect with me on instagram for a live um reading and if you don't have instagram you can use my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com and we can get you hooked up on google hangouts which is a free app to download and the only thing that you need is my email again which is scorpionreds at gmail.com to contact me on there for a video chat i want to give a big shout out number one um to every last one of you guys who has been booking personal private readings with me who has been sending donations through the cash app through um uh, I want to give a big shout out to my baby Madison because Madison has been showing a lot, a lot of love through, um, what's it, smart chats, uh, uh, super chats on my lives. Madison has been one of, I just looked at my, um, stats madison has been one of my biggest supporters um as of the couple of months or so since this lockdown so i just want to give a big shout out to madison i want to give a big shout out to mr dennis i want to give a big shout out to miss renee and just every single last one of you guys out there uh, that has been supporting and just giving any type of spiritual love and just peace and harmony especially over here in my domain um we got a new deck here we got the uh muse tarot deck that was sent through the amazon wish list and we have a plethora of other new decks that are coming here. <laughs> you guys are absolutely amazing during this time. Y'all have been showing big love and support, especially over here to Scorpion Red Several. And I have been trying my best to send all of the love back that I can. So I'm shooting back these arrows of love to each and every one of you who I've been in contact with at any point in time. And just I'm sending out many blessings to all the new people that I'm going to be in contact with because we have been rocking and rolling, y'all. And there's been a lot of amazing energy out here. So we're just here to collect and gather it all and spread it worldwide. So listen, thank you guys again for that blessed energy. We got that deck right here and it's so beautiful and we're going to get some good energy out here today. Okay. And you know, I got my, <laughs> my unicorn deck. Yes. For the pink ones again. Okay. For the pink ones, for the pink power rangers, for the unicorns, for the bad bitches in the team. All right. All on the scene. Girl, the pink one. We got you together today. So listen, let's give thanks to the creator, to the most high, to the one that started this gangster shit, okay, okay, to the one that got us in this mode of being blessed, thankful, and prayed up, and highly favored, so Father God, we want to bow our heads right now, and just give you honor, Father, thank you so much for keeping each and every last one of us covered in the name of Jesus, Father God, we've been feeling so blessed, we've been feeling so calm, we've been feeling so free, and we've been feeling so anointed in the name of Jesus, we thank you so much for every basket of fruit, for every 
uh, uh, arm that we can extend in love and prayer over people that we have in our um, arms reach that are in worry and that are in lack. Thank you so much for blessing us with all of the resources that we need to give to others during this time. Because there was times when we didn't have anything at all and you made sure that all of the uh, resources that we need were always being given and met on a daily day, but on a day to day basis, even though it might not have been, you know, lobster and shrimp and, 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 and Angus steak and all of that stuff like that. It was every single thing that we needed. And a lot of us eating plant based diets now in the name of Jesus. Come on, Father. Look, we don't even eat that stuff no more. Well, look, I eat it. You can get it to me. I eat it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let me get back. Let me get back. Let me get back. Let me get back. Okay, so listen. <laughs> Father God, we thank you so much for, again, just loving us in the abundant and bountiful way that you do. Um, we know that we are coming into a season of full harvest. We cannot wait for harvest season. You already know in fall, and we're going to have it all, and we're going to show them how to ball. We showed them last year in 2019 during the takeover, honey. The wait was over, and honey, we are taking over, okay? And we are collecting, and we are listening. Shaking the table, Father God, and we keeping it way stable. So listen, Father God, it's 2020. Show me the money energy. We're making people show us our worth. Show us, yes, our worth in their life, and they're going to show us their worth and ours in the name of Jesus. So, Father God, continue to keep us on this path, and we're going to hold your hand, and we're going to enjoy this walk, Father. We're going to enjoy this journey. We've been enjoying it. Listen, the hard days, look, the storm is over. It's time for us to bask in the sunshine and skip under the rainbows and stuff and talk to little green leprechaun and stuff, okay, eating un unfolding chocolate nuggets and stuff, y'all remember back in the day, the little candy, little, little, little chocolate coins and stuff, you take the little tin for your office, okay, so listen, we enjoying chocolates and all type of little nice little trinkets and new friendships and stuff, so Father, thank you so much for keeping us covered, give us guidance for the sign of Libra for the month of May, you already know what we got to say, gang gang, amen, let's get into this, so, let's get into this so let's get on over here to this love oracle texas you know i'm seeing all this green i'm seeing all this green hold on cash rules everything around me green gets the money dollar dollar bill y'all how many of y'all been sitting in the house at the computer table hustling making deals you know uh, uh still organizing things still conducting meetings still teaching your classes still checking up on your kids still checking those emails getting that money okay shout out to all my babies that's been out there hustling being on that you know strategic boss level shit even at home okay Look, I'll show you how to do this, man. If I knew it was going to be this easy, I could have been working from home years ago. Listen, <laughs> listen, all right? You got the control in the reverse. Listen, we got to keep it first and focus, okay? We cannot allow ourselves to get out of control at any point in time. We got to keep ourselves balanced. Yes, this is the number eight. This is about control. Not losing that sense of authority. Not letting things, like, get haywire. All right, not getting haywire here. Control is about the number eight is also about giving and receiving something, you know, that is giving as it is receiving to you. So we're going to find out what's going on with this. You want to find out what's going on with this. And it's like them eagle feathers. They're saying you got to fly right, eagle. Because one thing that you are is you, you're a pillar of knowledge and hope and faith. And number one, a keen sense of balance and integrity. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I feel like you're watching somebody spin the fuck out of goddamn control here. Because it's like, it's like the eyes is like peering into me so deep. I feel like. You are watching someone spiral out of control right now. And I don't even necessarily feel like it's you. What is this here? This is a lot. You're about to take the lead. Like I'm trying to tell you, you're watching someone spiral the hell out of control. You're keeping yourself grounded. You're reaching out. You're asking God, listen, I already know. <laughs> My steps have been ordered and they have been provided. I'm reaching out during this time because I'm sitting here watching this fool lose their goddamn mind. I have to take lead. I have to think about my foundation and my structure. Okay? 
All right? I have to think about my foundation and my structure. And number three is about communication. It's about self-expression. It's about actually being social. So if you need help, only thing you got to do is ask. And it's like, I'm going to call away. I'm going to call away. You guys are taking the lead while you're watching other people go completely out of goddamn control. And with them eagle feathers right there, it's, it's something about... I, I feel like you guys don't like being around people that are freaking frazzled, fickle, that they can watch something and be... Okay, so this is... Okay, I, and, I'm, and I'm about to go on a tangent. I am. Come on, love of bounds. Come on, love of bounds. Come on now. What is this? Choose your bounds. Come on, Libra. Come on, Libra. Said I ain't about to... Oh, God. Listen, see, come on now. Come on, Libra. Libra said, I'm about to choose my battles because motherfuckers is losing their damn mind and I can't be around this energy. Listen, there are some people, even though it does irritate me a little bit, I don't like how people use the term empath as a clutch to let themselves be out of control and just be accepting energies from all sources without discernment. Do you understand what I'm saying? Where people would be like, oh, because I'm an empath and I was around somebody and I just, I, other people's emotions, like you use, and I'm not saying you, I'm saying people, because I, because what, what's that girl, um, that is a singer, because she irritated me with that, what, what was her name, um, Summer Walker, like she, she, she can't, uh, interact with her fans because she's the empath, you're not that much of a goddamn empath, you, you're that much of an asshole though. Like, for real. You have to have discernment and, and, and there's nobody that is that much of an impact that you can't control your own energy and block off energy that is not your own. Do you understand what I'm saying? And what this is right here is when you're seeing people going out of control, and this is Libra's stance on it. Because you got the love abound here. The heart chakra is open. Right now, they're being wise, spiritually wise. And they're looking at people, losing their fucking mind. And they're choosing their battles about what they're going to deal with and what the fuck they're going to not. If you want to sit there and lose your fucking mind and act like you letting stuff go out of control, I got to take the lead. And I got to motherfucker reach out to God and ask them to listen. Pray for these people, Father God. Pray for these people that are going out of control because I'm sitting here watching them and I can't experience this energy with them listen they need to seek higher they need to seek higher you know what i'm saying because just because you see the world of chaos going on around you you have to know and seek your own energy and find peace within your own self you can't be taking on other people's stress and their drama and their troubles and stuff like that and the worries of the world you understand you kind of stay harmonious and abundant within yourself and you got to lead your domain which is your body you understand so if you 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 see people around that is you see them, listen, flame don't went out. You see them losing their goddamn mind. You have to know how to, listen, this look like stairs. Elevate higher. Take that step and get the fuck on away from people that are not communicating on your level. And you got to be grounded in that. Get away from these people. Get away from these people. Continue to seek on the level of abundance that you're seeking on. And listen, that number nine, that means that that cycle and stuff like that is, is closed. Like, you don't be taking on other people's energy anymore. You go with the flow. You know what I'm saying? You're trusting and you're accepting and positive energies and positive energies alone. If there's people that is going out of their mind, and they're just, um, because I, I was around this person and their energy was like this and it started making me feel like this, you just look at them. You just look at them. Like, oh, that is such a shame. Mm-hmm. Poor baby. All right, now, you take care now. Bye-bye that. Listen, because you don't have no understanding for that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not about to sit there and take on other people's energy that, do, that does not belong in this healthy <laughs> in this healthy sanctuary, which is my temple. You guys cannot find any understanding around that you cannot rock your you cannot wrap your crown around there you, you see how this man has all that purple on that's someone that has full understanding and they're going with the flow and have faith they're not about to be 
and they're seeking higher. We have no understanding for people that take on energy that are not theirs. Not theirs. We have no understanding for that and we're not going to try to have any understanding that for that because we have blessings of bounds. Our heart is fully and clearly open to all positive things. We don't even think or we don't even vibrate on anything that is unwanted, baby. We pick and we choose our battles very wisely. Okay? And you see how I separated this situation with someone who don't know how to take control over their energy and, and use excuses. Oh, I'm an empath and I'm, I'm spiritually sensitive to all negative energies and it just like, uh, uh, it overtakes me. And uh, why, why are you that fucking sensitive? I, I, listen, can't not, so you just basically saying that any type of negative energy, any type of in, negative entity, you're just an open vessel for all any type of energy, baby. I pray for you. I pray for people like that. People really do need to be thinking about what they're saying because I'm telling you right now, Libra is not dealing with that shit. If you are not having yourself in control and not can, and cannot see. What goes up, what comes down, what you say and what you put out comes right back to you. If you are out of control, your world is going to continue to spiral out of control. Libra cannot do that. They're taking the lead and they're reaching out and they're seeking for a higher vibration. They don't have any understanding about that. They're blessed too highly right now. They have to pick and choose people. And, 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 and this is something completely on the outside of this for Libra because I don't feel like Libra has time to tolerate this type of thing like that. Let's find out who this is that's out of control right here. Because we already see the Libra standing right here. And as y'all know, um, this energy can be reversed and vice versa. Now, let's see. Because this person got the lead. They got the scroll right there. It's like they got the plan. Like they're determined. That's like the four wands right there. So, like, they are, like, feeling victorious. They are very stable. Like, they got shit together. What is this? The Six of Pentacles. So, this is someone that is, like... In a state of lack and like they are in the need of assistance that they feel like people not readily giving them at this current moment. The magician. So. What I'm getting here is like things might be out of control financially and they're in a predicament where I feel like some people are having to put out a little bit more than what they're actually receiving right now. And it's like y'all could possibly be regretting getting yourself into certain financial um situations and things like that and right now you might be trying to um manifest help you know what i'm saying things might be a little bit financially out of control right now um as you can see you see that infinity sign on the magician's hat you see the infinity sign right here so what goes up must come down sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But at the same cycle, what goes down always rises. Do you understand? So people are going to have their good days and their bad days. But what you have to understand is not allowing those bad days where things are not as receiving as they once were. You can't allow yourself to get out of control. You know what I'm saying? Still with this magician energy, it's like you do have a lot of resources, so you have to use it. And you have to be very wise with um, how you balance your time and balance your energy and who you're given to. Because you might be given to too many people where things have kind of got out of control right now. And um, it seems like you're trying to manifest a lot of this, um, a lot of these resources back to you. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. Listen, you see how his vehicle has, has ran away from him. You know what I'm saying? Like some shit that got from up under you a little bit. And it's like you're chasing and you're chasing your vessel that once kept you going. It's like something has slipped from up under your feet and it's just got away. So I feel like your finances has got away. And I feel like right now you might be having some deep conversations with some people just trying to get some straightening going on because it's like, look, I can't be financially responsible for every goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? Some people are going to have to take some fucking responsibility. Oh, I'm about to fly the coop. Do you see this? I'm going to have to fly, fly the goddamn coop. You know? So you see how, like I told you, they go those e the eagle wings and stuff like that. 
This person is not able to fly right because of the lack of concern for them and their well-being while they're sitting up here taking care of everything, you know. And I feel like people are sitting up there watching everything go out of control and they're not doing anything about it. Now, if this is the Libra and this is the Libra situation right here, I'm completely understanding what's going on right here. And I see you with this um, magician energy, like you're manifesting um yourself out of this financial pitfall that's what they just said you're trying to you're trying to use your magic and all your resources right now to get you out of this pitfall and right here these are these are signs of the elements so it's like you guys are like I feel like right now you guys are doing a deep, 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 deep. Um, like you're going through a very deep spiritual, analytic inventory of everything that you have right now. On an emotional standpoint, on a physical standpoint, on a, a, a action oriented standpoint like how much energy do you have left to do anything and just like what do you know right now that you can do it's like you're really sitting down and you're putting it all in the pot and you're stirring around and trying to see what magic you can come up with right now but i feel like you might end up flying the coop right now because i feel like you just need to be by yourself to kind of like practice your magic right now so you can get a chance to think you cannot think and get everything balanced if everything is is falling on you all at the same time and it's just you by your fucking self you know what i'm saying it's like they just said the goat got away with the carriage so it's like i don't know if you were going through the city Okay, this is what they're, they're, they're showing me. They're showing me like a villager went to town with a goat that was like carrying the carriage or whatever, a food or whatever that they were supposed to be going to the town to get because they were running short of inventory. But for somehow, like the trained goat, like the goat wasn't trained that well or just a stubborn ass fucking goat. You know what I'm saying? And like the goat done ran, like you turned your back for a quick second and the goat done ran off with the carriage with everything that you just bought. And just like, like your goat just stole all of your fucking, like your goat just stole all your groceries, everything, the new pickaxe that you bought to help you grow crops and just, like just stole every fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? Like the stupid ass fucking goat. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know why they're showing me the damn goat. But it's like, it's something like y'all, they're telling me you should have known not to trust that goat. I feel like there wasn't a lot of time being put in into training the goat or like the goat was just like fucking un like the goat was dumb as an ox this winter saying like whoever this, this goat or whatever it was it should have been in the stew pot it had no business do you understand trying to help you do regular day-to-day -day work you know what i'm saying like that just that that was a stew pot goat that goat wasn't good for nothing else okay I, nothing else you know what i'm saying and now everything just got out of fucking control because now <laughs> The goat just ran off with the fucking resources. And you wish you'd have never bought the stupid ass fucking goat to begin with. It's like you went and bought the goat to help you. Make sure that you could carry shit back home easily. And you wouldn't be spending more money paying someone with a truck or something. You were just going to walk and get exercise. And just, you know. And it's just like your whole investment went down to shit. You know. The Six of Pentacles is someone that spit their money on something or have to pay for something or was responsible for something that they wish they had never got their fucking self into. Do you understand? And it's like, I need my resources back. Like, I need everything back that I just lost. Everything just got out of control. And I felt like I didn't make a wise investment. So now I'm about to really see what magic I can make. Because, and it also it's like you guys are looking here spiritually trying to find out like how shit just kind of got away like that you know what i'm saying it's like i want to know now like what the fuck happened like god help me <laughs> what uh, help me understand like what principal lesson am i missing here um give me guidance but trust me when i tell you 
And I very much mean what the hell I said about them people that be taking on other people's emotions that are not theirs with this impact shit. I, I, I'm very serious with that. Even though the cards are not showing that, thank God it's not. But intuitively, that's what I got with that shit. Because there is someone, it's a situation that's out of control, and Libra is watching it. And they had to, they had to separate themselves from that. They had to separate themselves from that. Do you understand? They chose their battles. They're choosing their battles. Ooh, okay. Listen, the Nine of Swords. Listen. I'm choosing my battles here. I don't already put my barrier up, so I don't know. You could have, like barricaded yourself indoors you could have blocked someone from your life you could have put an access code so people can't get past a gate you might have told the security guard at the um lobby of your apartment building this person is not allowed to have access to my apartment anymore do not allow them upstairs and you feel safe and cozy but what you set up and you don't took your pretty ass back up in the goddamn house and you sit up there relaxing because you know even though I done handled the shit today, this motherfucker gonna come back. Or if not this person, somebody else or another situation gonna come around the corner and I'm gonna have to get up and I'm gonna have to defend myself again. You understand what I'm saying? So I might as well just rest and enjoy myself. But right now, I ain't even goddamn worried about a motherfucker. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because you, you, you guys have... You guys have put a safe point a safe barrier there with someone the eight of swords in the reverse this is out of incarceration you guys are out of incarceration a lot of you guys feel like you were locked up that you were bound that you were trapped you understand you felt undignified like you were being used like things were just going the wrong direction where you were having to look at yourself in the mirror like what the fuck did i get myself into had I known that I was going to spend many, many days going through all of this drama, I would have never, motherfucker, I would have kept on walking. You understand what I'm saying? So you guys, now that you finally got out of this goddamn prison, you understand this mental prison. You know what I'm saying? And right now, you you guys are not even worrying about it, not even thinking about it no more. Because at the end of the day, so far, you've done whatever you needed to do to protect yourself and to keep... These people that are out of control that you ain't trying to give to no more because they are more trouble than what the fuck they're worth. Do you understand? Just like that little stupid ass goddamn goat that just ran off with all of your goddamn shit from the store. Okay? So now you out of a goat and all of the money you just spent. Okay? Okay? And at the same time, it's like even though the goat done ran off with your shit, it's like at least I ain't got them... Uh, dealing with the headache and the responsibility of having to feed that motherfucker no more. So whatever the hell that little stupid ass goat ran off, I hope that they know how to use them goddamn resources and them tools and I hope the motherfucker know how to take care of itself. And stole my goddamn cart and every damn thing. Anyway. So that's that on that. Y'all choosing y'all battles. It's just like, man, I'm good on that. What is this? The Three of Pentacles, yes. Okay? I feel like whatever the situation was, like, did someone steal your car or something like that? I, I, I'm feeling like someone stole your car or something like that. Because, like, I'm, they keep showing me about this goat. This stupid, dumb goat. This hard-headed, untrainable goat that just ran off with your carriage. And some of your resources or something like that. I'm praying that that didn't happen to someone. But this is like the three of coins. So again, this is like an untrainable fucking goat. Do you understand? It don't matter how much time you to spend with this fucking goat. Trying to show this, uh, this goat how to listen. That you try not to put the bitch in a goddamn stew pot with some curry seasonings and some ginger. Okay? It's some turmeric. Do you understand? I'm trying not to season you. I'm trying not to baste your ass up now. Bitch, do you know how much I like curry goat? Bah. Bitch, do you understand? Wait, was that a sheep? They <laughs> don't even <laughs> Listen. Listen. You was trying to get a dumb ass damn goat, a better goddamn option in life, but still untrainable, don't want to listen. The shit wasn't working out. It, did, it just did not work out. It was a failed attempt, and it's like, I don't even, 
I don't even want to want to try to go that way no more. Like whoever it was that told you to go get the goat, that goats were a better idea instead of a mule or uh, <laughs> a horse or I don't know what other type of fucking animal. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. No, I don't know. No, they okay. They just said someone turned to animal activist and was trying not to eat the goat. Okay, respect, respect. You were trying to get a goat a different way of life, but the goat was just it. No, mm 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 mm. Listen, that was a no, cause this is showing me red light, green light, yellow light. That's what that is showing me. See, look, do you see how she is actually the one that's putting in the work and trying to make this tapestry and these two motherfuckers up here flirting and playing around and shit. But the whole time, this his girl, this the friend, or this somebody else that's just in his class and shit like that. Or why she down there working? He too busy trying to tap her street. Do you understand? Trying to tap, tap her street. Okay, no, bitch. I'll punch you in your motherfucking throat. You understand? Try to tap her street. No, bitch. Uh-uh. You can't work with people like that. You can't work with people who fail to listen and they're showing you signs that they're not focused and pay attention. Because the three of pentacles could represent someone in school failing tests in school. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not paying attention to your teacher. You're not learning anything. You're failing to advance. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're failing to... Um, be inspired like you're you're not even being inspired around like you're being taught under chef ramsey and it's like how the fuck would you be under chef ramsey like uh a michelin star chef and you're failing to learn like you gotta either be stupid or you focus somewhere else and you don't even deserve to be in this class that's the you understand what i'm saying Certain people really do not deserve to be in, 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 in a class when there's somebody else that really wanted to learn how, you know what I'm saying? This was someone that didn't have no desire to learn. No desire to learn. Libra is in a state of abundance. Come on now. All right. What does it say? Intentions. Intentions is in the reverse. So you guys are in a place of abundance and you guys are paying attention to people's intentions when they're around you. Because at the end of the day, I feel like you guys have made bad investments before and you're finally getting out of this mental prison. You don't have any more obligations here anymore. You could have quit your job. You could have quit working with this person and these individuals with this three of pentacles right here because you're not focused on paying attention and I'm focused on learning. So I don't even want to be in this group anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying? Y'all motherfuckers is out of control. I wish I'd have never even invested in this goddamn class and shit like that. I'm focused. I'm trying to find me a whole nother damn school to go to study at. Because y'all in this motherfucker want some fuck shit. This bitch up there flirting with the teacher and shit. And I'm in here trying to fucking study and shit. And now I'm feeling like I'm trapped in this goddamn. No. Uh-uh. Listen. Y'all attention ain't pure. It's too, it's too many heavy Harsh colors around here and shit. I like light, beautiful shit. Look, do you understand? We some uh, a pink Power Ranger unicorn pussy ass bitch. We ain't got time for this fuck shit. We live in a light of abundance around here. We don't have time for this shit. All right? Fuck that goddamn stupid ass goddamn um um goat that done Billy goat that ran off with the car with the uh, car patience. Even through our darkness, we still shine like the light, baby. Shine bright like a diamond. Look, you see that unicorn shining bright like a diamond in the darkness. Baby, we are patient. You can steal what you want. Take what you want, baby. You, 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 you don't affect nobody but yourself. You understand? You don't affect nobody but yourself. You ain't stopping nobody's flow but your own. We still stay in a place of peace and abundance. And we're still patient and we're still focused on our blessings. So it don't even matter. We're picking our battles here. Listen, and again, Libra skills. Balance. Balance. Let's go ahead and put that right there. Listen, if you don't have your attentions wasn't pure with us, you weren't really here to work and to learn and try to work things out and to no, I, I don't got it to do. I done blocked you and I ain't worried about it. Listen, goddess. Okay. We'll reload it.
Boom. Do you understand? God is energy right here. We have blocked. We have moved on. We set up this barrier. We have been released from this contract. We have no obligations here anymore. We have quit that job. We have got out of that contract. We already realized it was a bad investment. The car moved away with the horse. We ain't even, listen, we ain't even chasing. We, listen, you ain't even chasing after the motorcycle no more. Okay? We're good. We're good. We're good. And we're good. Now let's keep going. Okay? Let's keep going. Taking the lead. Taking the lead and choosing balance and staying in a place of peace and still seeking higher. Come on, God. Yes. I'm loving it. I am loving it. You can see motherfuckers that have been making changes in their damn life. Even when things have been going out of control, you can still tell positive energy when it is there, honey. Listen, the only thing you gotta pay attention is the people's intentions. Okay? And I ain't got listen. Listen, come on, superstar. You better know who you are around here. Come on and be celebrated. Come on and rejoice. Come on and get your accolades while you're here, my dear. But the six of wands. Come on, girl. Let them shine that light on you. Let it be bright on you. Let them spend a couple nights on you in your name. Come on, girl. Yes, six of wands. Yes, this is a card of recognition. This is a card of glory because, bitch, they don't know our story. They do not know. Uh, come on, unicorn. Let me tell you, we stay in abundance. We shine bright like diamonds, okay? We have diamond pl Even in the darkness, baby, we still know how to hold it down, honey. You better know what this... <laughs> when you know your worth, when you know your worth, and you stay balanced and you separate from motherfuckers that's out of control because you already realized listen that motherfucking goddamn I should have bought me a mule I, I, I should have bought me a mule okay goats is meant to be in a plate in a pot a curry okay because they like to scurry Ghosts deserve to be in a goddamn plate of curry because they like to scurry with bitches shit. We ain't got it to do. But you ain't stop me from getting to where I got to go, bitch. I'm still out here put in. Who gonna check me, boo? Nobody. Nobody. Not a goddamn body, bitch. Just don't cross that line because you know I will still pop you, bitch. <laughs> oh, God. You know I will still pop you, bitch. You already know how Libras get down. Listen, she done told you. Listen. I don't put that barrier up, and I ain't even about to worry about you. Listen, you see that? You see that wand right there, lit up, lit up, bitch. Shit be litty over here in Libra's territory, bitch. Okay, it's a new day, and we don't give a fuck what a nigga gotta say. Just do not trespass across that barrier, and you ain't got to worry about me, honey. Okay. Go ahead and continue to watch me on TV. Continue to watch me on YouTube. Continue to hear your friends talking about me. Yeah, you seen Libra lady. Libra been looking good. Libra done started their business. Libra done went on a Fox 5 News and they was talking about Libra's new business and shit. Libra got a new cook show and all this stuff and it's been successful. Yeah, Libra doing a whole bunch of shit, bitch, that you ain't know about, okay? You're a fan. <laughs> that part. Come on now. Be big cocky with it. Big fucking cock. Okay, that's too much. That is way too much. And I missed two cards down here. So I'm going to have to completely do a whole nother reshuffle. But that six of wands, it's going to stay there. Like you are being admired by many. I'm loving your fashions. I'm loving the way you shining. I'm loving the way you've been doing your skin treatments and your skin regimens. Keep doing it. You've been feeling beautiful. You've been feeling abundant. You've been basking. And like I said, a lot of y'all been allowing the spotlight to just be on you and just sit back and just allow all your creative juices to flow. And it's been getting you a lot of success and fame. You know what I'm saying? Come on, queen of goddamn pinnacles. Come here, mama. See to say your fine ass Rita. Come here, mama. See to see your fine ass Rita. Have a seat. Come sit next to me and tell me what you be doing, how you be doing, how you, when you be doing it. Okay? Libby said, girl, let me tell you my secret. You know what it is? When I see motherfuckers don't know their value, okay? Because this is 2020 show me the money energy. Bitch, I am too pulled up. I am too pressed. And I am too fucking primped. I am too fabulous, bitch. I don't have time and money to waste on people that are out of control and don't know their role, okay? But I will show them how to smell what the rock is cooking with your Rudy Pooh candy ass, you punk ass jabroni. Listen, 
You punk ass jabroni, bitch, can you smell what Libra is cooking? Boom. Bitch, we are reloaded. Didn't I tell you we some motherfucking stars right here, bitch? We don't got no time for it. Okay? Jabroni. Jabroni. Okay? We will buy us a new pony. We ain't worried about the old Billy Goat. Okay? We just not worried about the old Billy Goat. The way God has been shining on our life, Libra still got some more money. Look, as soon as that goddamn stupid ass untrainable goat ran away with your carriage of all things, like, you know, like, fuck the goddamn shit that we just bought at the store. This motherfucker took my carriage, bitch. You took my transportation. Okay? But you know, we still kept them blessings up on God. Come on, night of motherfucking materials. Listen. It might have took a little bit of time. Oh, but that shit, that money came and all them resources came right back long and strong, baby. And big long. You see that succulent pack right there? Oh, baby. the Oh, it's juicy and it's succulent. And it got a lot, okay, of moisture in it. It's a real... <laughs> I'm still about to go nasty. <laughs> Just know it's succulent, okay? Suck. You lunts, bitch. Bad Becca, bitch. Okay, succulent, bitch. Okay. <laughs> Ow! I am reloaded, bitch. I am reloaded. Give me God and say hit with this love, y'all, cause shit is about to be coming in, my friend. Things are coming in, my friend. A lot of material blessings, honey. Once you learn how to block a motherfucker out and get yourself out of a goddamn mental prison with motherfuckers that do not know their motherfucking role. You better know your role with your Rudy Poo candy ass, okay, round this bitch. What can you smell, bitch, okay? Is that what we want to call this reader? Motherfuckers better know their role with their Rudy Poo candy ass, okay? Come on now. Listen, we ain't got no time for motherfuckers that's out of control. Take your dumb ass over there. Take your donkey ass over there, you fucking asshole. We ain't got time for that shit. Motherfucking asshole, you don't stop our cash roll. One asshole don't stop our cash roll. Facts. One asshole, don't stop no Libra cash, bro. Bitch, queen of fucking materials, bitch. Real prepped, real pressed, real proper. Oh, honey, we got deep presses, deep creases in our pockets. <laughs> Girl, what you talking about? The clock, honey. Oh, yes. The alarm, ring the alarm. Bitch, ring the alarm. Libra has entered the building, honey. Yes, ma'am. We're not worried no more about no healing heart, baby. We're done with the healing. This is the, who the fuck was it? Of, who was it? I think it was Virgo. Virgo, what is the word, yo? Virgo and freaking Libra. Y'all are over y'all healing process. I ain't even crying about that shit no more. Listen, the keys on the ring, people don't have access to us like that no more. Put in. They don't have no choice to, to, to come back this way, baby. Ring the alarm. Okay? Sure. Listen, we ain't on that Beyonce shit. Oh no, ring the alarm. I'll be damned if I see another bitch on your arm. Let the bitch have you, bitch. Because you're going to run off with her fucking carriage and her resources too, bitch. And she going on just like I did. Don't nobody give a fuck. At all. Boat, I done moved on. I'm on a brand new fantastic voyage, bitch. Can you sing that with me? Fantastic voyage. Okay? <laughs> bitch, I'm on a fantastic voyage. Bitch, get your ass out of here. Listen, I'm over here talking with my friends, talking about new blessings and new plans and new money and new honey coming my way, baby. No, no me. Oh, baby, I've been hoovering over this goddamn email in this inbox because people are trying to get in the box. Bitch, you better know how Libra... Oh, oh, you better know the pink one. You hear me? The pink starburst. The pink one. That's the one that they tear through the pack to get. The pink one. And I don't know if y'all see me on my Instagram. Y'all see me? I had that pack of that starburst. The all pink starburst. Honey. The exclusive shit. They want the exclusive shit. So yes, motherfuckers is in the inbox. And I've been hoovering over my messages. Trying to see who was trying to get the rest of this. Okay, girl, yes. Listen. 
Listen, I've been hooping over my messages trying to see who want to get the rest of this. Girl, yes. Listen, listen. Come on now. The clock has rang, girl. Ring the alarm. Libra is in the building. Come on, Miss Unicorn. Miss Unicorn Puss. Come tell me what's going on with you, girlfriend. You don't took lead. You don't took it with speed. You don't took it with greed. You don't took it with need. You say, oh, yes, I'm greedy about my blessings, honey. Oh, yes, honey. I'm very greedy about my blessings. Listen, I to learn from my lessons. I choose not to fight battles that are beneath me. That part. Yes, girl. Come on, Miss Platinum Puss. Miss Pink Unicorn Puss. Come on, Miss Power Ranger kicking that leg up high. My, my, ooh, the Six of Cups. Now, come on, girl. All oh, right, now, hold on. Hold on, let's slow it down. Mm. Let's bring it on down. Mm. Oh, honey, who you have been meeting? Who you have met at the supermarket, Libra? Who you have met at the supermarket then and put them butterflies back in your stomach like you in the old high school romance and shit like that, staying up talking on the phone for hours, okay, not getting no sleep, like you a teenager in puppy love. Who you done met, Libra? Riding around the block, okay? Ooh. Someone said that y'all bumped into, ooh. Y'all might have bumped it and then, okay, so, and then, okay, so, and shout out to the LGBT, what is it, LGBTQIA community, shout out to y'all, shout out to y'all, but whatever this is, whoever that y'all done bumped into, the Six of Cups, it's something very giving and receiving emotionally, like, um, you guys might have reconnected with, um, a lot of old time friends, people that you might have known from school, people that you might know from your old neighborhood, that you feel like an abundance of love and everything. I feel like y'all been having like a lot of good like conversations, talking about a lot of stuff from the past where it was like a lot of good memories. And you guys are meeting a lot of people. Oh, okay. You got the temperance in the reverse. Why are you not having faith in this shit? What's going on now? Come on now. Now we're not about to do that. We're not about to do that. The seven of swords. Because you just snuck away. You concerned about your options. And things not working. Okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. So listen. This is the message Libra. And then this is the knight of wands at the bottom here. You see this male energy coming at you long, Kong and strong. So listen. Ooh, ooh, they say, ooh, they say the king, Kong, king, the king, king, Kong. And y'all up worrying about this shit. But as you can see, you got the will of fortune right here. So listen, you're very fortunate. And again, it said put down these burdens from yesteryears. They ain't got nothing to do with you. This is the king of cups. This is the one that's going to give you that good love. And let me tell you. Ooh, and then the ten of cups. Come on, Libra. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're trying to tell you do not. And then let me show you the last one before. I put it down. What was this? This is the three of wands. Leave all of that shit in the back in the past. Do not delay when this opportunity comes to you with this person. Do not be still focusing on how things didn't work in the past or whoever stole your carriage and stuff like that and how they leave all of that shit in the past and walk into the future. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't stagnate yourself thinking about things in the past because it's basically what it's telling me here okay because this seems like a good situation right here with this knight of wands like you guys are up worrying about this and that's trying to tell you to drop that burden so look the six of cups you're going to bump into somebody and i feel like you're just going to feel uncomfortable because you have this vulnerable feeling of emotions just rushing into you just like you were a kid on the old school play yard you understand like this dude, just this dude or this female, or it could be two females, or it could be two men. It doesn't matter. Love is love. Love is beautiful. But it's just like someone just slid you that "Will you be mine?" note, uh, circle yes or no. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I don't know. It's just I feel like you've been through so much and thinking of how vulnerable you feel right here with these emotions and. It's putting you in a place where you're in a comfortable position about your past and when things were good. But at the same time, it's bringing back up that lack of faith. And you know what I'm saying? Where you're kind of losing hope because of other things that's happened in the past. So it's like you're being triggered by good and negative energy of your past. Because you just finally got away from something that you felt like was, wasn't 
self-serving that's what they're saying it wasn't self-serving like you were sacrificing more than you were ever gaining from the situation it wasn't self-serving everyone around you was misleading you and oh they're, they're saying intoxicated like these people i want to say kind of used you and kind of tricked you and used your kindness for weakness and they gained more towards the way that they were able to get drunk and intoxicated off of all your hard work and all of your assets and things like that and you finally outsmart and out tricked the trickster and you got away from the situation because that's what the seven swords on a high level represents someone that's out smarting the competitor you know what i'm saying or the enemy outsmarting the enemy and this is someone that is so smart to the point, yeah, they left two swords back there, but they don't even want that shit. They're not even looking back. They know well enough. If you get away, keep going. Don't turn back. That's how people get caught. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like with this temperance card in the reverse and the six of cups, it's like, do I turn back to a place of vulnerability? I'm sorry, I can't say it. Vulnerable. vulnerable. Yeah, I can't say the vulnerability in my heart where I know where... Me being emotionally open like that in the past where it got me and I, you know, I've got taken advantage of. But what this is telling you with the tempers caught in the verse, like leave the past in the past. This is a new exchange. You know what I'm saying? This is a new exchange. You know what I'm saying? And it's reminding you of things from the past for a reason because true love does exist. You understand? You just got to cross people off of your list that didn't bring you happiness. You know what I'm saying? You have a lot of options right now. You're like you're just now being served options again. Um, before in the past because you were uh, trapped and confined in that prison, you had a lack of options. And now you have a influx, like a surge of options in front of you. And... this temperance in, in this eight of coins right here it's like you're just not focused on putting the work in because you're not feeling like it's gonna work out because of the temperance and the reverse and the first card that I picked up at, at the bottom of the deck was the knight of wands and right next to him is the king of cups so it's like this person this male energy whoever this is in the masculine energy that ain't nothing but the cycle chakra around you. This person knows exactly what they feel towards you. They're very stable emotionally and they're putting action in towards you. Only thing you see is those orange skies behind them. So this person is moving very fast on their actions because they're very passionate about you. They know what they want. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're very determined. And on the side of them, they're thinking about a Ten of Cups situation, marriage, kids, like true happiness, true fulfillment, true abundance. Listen, true abundance. That was right under there. Family. Like, this is a family-oriented person. Very family-oriented person. This person sees the abundance in you. And the rainbow represents gaiety, happiness. Like, you know, um... I'm just seeing many colorful, very vibrant, happy days. I'm not seeing a home where there's just white walls. There's like very beautiful accent walls, very nice decorations, kids outside in the yard playing, like vacations, like your son is on a soccer team, daughter is doing ballet, and you know, like y'all going to tapestry classes with a partner that's actually listening and not focusing on another person in the class the you know what i'm saying where you do you understand what i'm saying like no like th this is something that's good so basically it's like don't sit around and have nightmares and daydreams of Things going bad when you're so fortunate and everything is truly going your way. Like, only have daydreams of positive thoughts. You know, don't cloud your head about the drama from yesteryears. What they're trying to say is like the will of fortune is in your favor. Please put down those burdens of the shit from the past because that shit is over. It's over. O-V-E-R. Release those burdens and let it down. And stop thinking about these things. Because, like, this is a permanent fix. 
the Wheel of Fortune, you see all of the fixed signs there. This is fixed energy, okay? And you might be getting approached by a Libra, Aquarius, a Taurus, or a Scorpio. You might be getting approached by a fixed sign. And what I'm telling you, when it's a, when you're being approached by fixed energy, when they come, they're not going nowhere, okay? So I'm seeing the water and a fire sign. So that could very much be a Leo or Scorpio male energy that's coming your way. And you very much know when a Leo or a Scorpio see something that they want, they are not stopping until they get a yes answer. So they're going to be on your ass, on your pretty little unicorn, a uh, pixie the crusted ass. Do you understand what I'm saying? All right. All right. All right. So I just want you to have faith, have faith. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you just feel vulnerable as shit right now and it's making you feel very very it, they're saying vaguely uncomfortable so it's not even that you're feeling really really uncomfortable you're feeling vaguely uncomfortable it's not even making you that uncomfortable i feel like you were just trapped in your thoughts because you know what happened the last time you felt like this and you let your you let those butterflies float around in your stomach like this let's get the outcome here of this meeting all right this they say that this one is a protector of y'all's resources this one don't play about no damn money this one ain't about to be going around this person ain't about to go around stealing nobody fucking money and shit stealing nobody car like what that shit is ridiculous. Like, no, hell no. That's not what this person is about at all. Like, at all. Three, 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 you guys. It says, Trinity, mind, body, and soul. You are in the zone. Express your true, authentic self. You know, threes is the cause of self-expression, creativity, communication. Okay? Being artistic. Thinking about your imaginations and allowing your imaginations take free so positive thoughts and remember if you're letting your imaginations go free in a negative way it's going to get negative results only keep your mind on the positive baby the wheel of fortune is in your favor so let go of that negative shit from that past stuff don't be bringing that worries into today's blessings okay that was tomorrow's that was yesterday's drama okay Yesterday's drama. Don't bring yesterday's drama into today's blessings affecting tomorrow's future. Do you understand what I'm saying? The Trinity, mind, body, and soul. You are in the zone. Let's get one card to wrap this up for advice. And I just, listen, I just separated the deck and you see the high event right here. So this is something that might end up in marriage and commitment. Do you understand? This is something where... um. You're dealing with someone that really has an honor and tradition. You know, has very honorable upbringing and teachings. I feel like this person is very religious. Um, this person probably comes from a very Christian background and things like that. But has a very worldly understanding of things right there. Because with the Wheel of Fortune, that's somewhat understanding and having a... A fixed understanding of each element. Do you understand? Remember, wasn't I talking about the elements before? I was talking about the elements before with the magician. It was like someone taking stock of the rest of the elements that they had left over. But anyway, it's like this person has been taught under the hierophant. So this person uh, has educated themselves on a very, very high level with a certain level of standards and carry yourself with a certain level of etiquette. So like I told you, um, this person is very action oriented. And as you can see, this person has a black tourmaline on his wand. So this person is repelling any type of negative energy. They don't want none of that stuff to follow them or they don't want to, you know what I'm saying? They're not carrying any negative energy with them. They're coming to offer a cup and it looks like offer marriage and commitment. If you need to take your time, and get to know each other, invest that in each other, and take your time. It will not result in failure if you actually take your time and study and let things move slow and develop. Now, don't you be hard of learning. 
Don't you be hard of training. Don't you be hard of understanding. Do you understand? Because again, this is a, this is a damn near grown ass person that is failing class because they're having a lack of understanding and they're hard of hearing and untrainable. You know what I'm saying? Have a hard time learning something in order to see something out to be successful or they're just lazy. Do you understand what I'm saying? So don't be hard headed. If you need to take it slow, take it slow. But at the end of the day, um, again, don't allow the failed success of past situations to affect everything that you learn and being prosperous in the future. Do you understand? Because it looks like the Hierophant has two individuals here. So now... Whereas though in the past, you were dealing with a hard-headed ass goddamn goat that didn't that was untrainable. You know what I'm saying? When you were trying to show it a better way instead of being on the goddamn pot in a in, in, a, in some curry sauce, it was an untrainable goat. So you don't be the untrainable goat now. Do you understand? Before you were trying to train somebody, now you were being trained. Do you understand what I'm saying? Under the hierophant. To have faith. The only way that you can find commitment is if you truly have faith in what you believe in. And if you truly have faith in what you believe in, you don't bring any negative thoughts into that. That's what he's trying to tell you. So you don't be the goddamn curry goat this time. All right? The queen of cups in the upright. So, yes, this is some soulmate energy here. You got the king of cups. You got the king of cups and the queen of cups. So this is some soulmate energy. You understand? So... Now don't you be hard of hearing. Now don't you be hard of learning. Take your time and listen to what the Hierophant is teaching you. And allow this person to show you their love. You know what I'm saying? And it looks like the Hierophant is re-educating you on faith. And communication. And honoring commitments. Because you can't judge today's blessings on yesterday's past mistakes. Okay? So Libra, I love you. That's my alarm. Because I have a reading to do for a private client here. If anyone would like to book a personal or private reading with me, all you need to do is click that like button, number one. If this video resonated and gave you any type of help and insight during this time, um, if you want to book with me, the easiest way to book with me is to send me a message on Instagram. If you do not have Instagram, just email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. Um, we will figure out what the best mechanism is for me to get in contact with you for your video chat. But the best way, if you do not have Instagram, is Google Hangouts. You just go to your app store, type in Google Hangouts, and use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. And send me a message, and we will get things ship hopping. I accept payments through Cash App and through PayPal. So, you guys, this has been your reading. I love you, and I love you. This queen of pentacles card. Y'all have been really on y'all shit. Y'all are looking succulent. Things are coming in at a matter of time. It might have taken a slow process, but it's coming in long and strong. And this time, it looks like the table might be turning. It looks like you might be on the other end of the education uh, banter. Okay, so it's time for you to listen and get some higher learning. From the Hierophant that's going to relieve you from all of the pains of yesterday. And it's going to get you full, dedicated commitment into the future. Listen, enjoy this abundance. I love you guys. Peace.